Do you want Nintendo Switch Online for 12 months? Click on the link in the description below for a chance to get it for yourself. And make sure you hit like and hit subscribe to the channel as well. Good luck! Have you recently been gifted a Nintendo Switch, or got one for Christmas, birthday, or even purchased one yourself? Looking for a new game on your Switch, can't quite yet afford one of the top tier titles? Then there are a selection of free games to play available on Nintendo Switch that are really worth investing some time to. Delve in to find out the top free to play games on Switch right now. Rocket League. This previous premium game went free to play back in 2020 after it had been on the market for five years. This is Football for Cars. It includes a single player mode, a multiplayer online element with crossplay, and so many more features. This is one for all ages and is easily one of the best and most well known free to play game, not just on Nintendo Switch, but any gaming system. Knockout City. Velen Studios' Knockout City gives me vibes of Sunset Overdrive, Splatoon, and Jet Set Radio all combined into one. Knockout City is actually free to start. Players will be able to play until they reach level 25, before they are then forced to pay the premium to play. Think of this as more of an extended demo, or a free trial of a game. The dodgeball mechanic is easy to pick up and fun to master, and it is certainly worth the download on Switch. Pokemon Quest There are a fair few Pokemon games on Switch. Yes, that one, that one, that one. Well, you get the idea. The top tier games are not free to play though, and if anything, still command a premium price tag. There are also a number of free to play Pokemon games out there, and the obvious go to is Pokemon Go. The mobile phone hit sensation. But this isn't available on the Switch. That is where Pokemon Quest enters the fray. The Pokemon look like Minecraft versions of themselves in this blocky, cubey aesthetic set on the Tumble Cube Island. There are microtransactions involved, but these can be cast aside, or with a little patience instead. Play the game at a slower pace, and it can be quite a relaxing adventure. Asphalt 9 Legends Asphalt Urban GT and Super Mario 64 DS were the first games I got when I brought my launch Nintendo DS in November 2004. This was the origins of the series. Asphalt 9 Legends launched in 2018 and is a free to play game available on multiple platforms including Nintendo Switch. With 150 cars to choose from, earning some of the exotic cars might take a bit of grinding to earn, but they are well worth it. The game features a strong license to soundtrack and a good variations of courses. It's well worth it. Brawlhalla is actually older than you think, dating all the way back to 2014, albeit it didn't come to Switch until Ubisoft's acquisition of the game in 2018. It has over 50 characters and players can select from one of 9 of these characters to play until they change the characters which they do so on a regular basis although you can pay the premium to be able to play with any character that you want at any time. If Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is in your sights but your budget doesn't stretch that far, then this might satisfy the thirst in the meantime. There are also a number of crossover characters in other media franchises such as The Turtles, WWE, Adventure Time, The Walking Dead, and Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. Fortnite probably one of the most well-known free-to-play games on the planet, playable on pretty much every modern-day gaming device. Fortnite uses the battle royale formula of having the survival of the fittest from 100 players on the map. Collect and gather resources from an ever-evolving map and learn how to outwit your opponents. The game offers a lot for free, but there is a paid element for dressing up your in-game character and other cost metics. There is a reason as to why Fortnite is so popular. It's due to the accessibility, crossplay, and numerous crossovers with popular franchises. Tetris 99 Tetris 99 is not quite free, but it is a benefit of paying for Nintendo Switch Online, the yearly subscription service to play online on Nintendo systems. Surprisingly, Nintendo haven't had too many NSO exclusives. 
but Tetris 99 is certainly the most addictive of them. Play against 99 other players to determine which one of you can be the Tetris master. It is as simple as playing Tetris and clearing lines faster than other players to send your junk over to them. Nintendo also occasionally throw in free themes that need to be earned to keep. Those are based on their more recent first party releases. Tetris 99 is still being supported with events to this day and it is easy to find matches. Trust me when I say this, Tetris 99 is one of my favourite most played games on Switch. NES, SNES, Nintendo 64 and Mega Drive Online Finally, like Tetris 99, this entry also requires a Nintendo Switch Online subscription. But these games are classic games from times of old. If you ever wanted to go through Nintendo's back catalogue, then this is certainly one of the cheaper methods of doing so. It features most of Nintendo's best games from the NES, SNES and Nintendo 64, and games do get added, albeit at an unknown interval. Sega also have the Mega Drive classics on there as well, for anyone who is interested in seeing what they have to offer. Nintendo sell first party wireless controllers to use on the Switch, or alternatively third party manufacturers sell adapters for Nintendo Wii and mini console controllers converters. Don't worry if you don't have these though, you can simply use the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con or Pro Controller to control. Quite frankly I love the fact that I have the opportunity to be able to play some of these games on the go in an authentic manner without having to shell out a lot of money to do so. Now I get that sometimes the emulation might not be up to scratch or that some of these games have been on the virtual console and everywhere else. But from a portable aspect, from an official aspect and the fact that I would be paying for Nintendo Switch Online anyway, this is a great free to play option. Not just that, it also includes some of the classic games in there that everybody should play from Star Fox to Metroid to Mario Donkey Kong and so many other franchises represented here that you just absolutely have to try it. Just go and try it, go and boot it up now if you've never booted it up. Do you feel like I've missed any big hitters? Should something else be in this list? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Make sure that you like, subscribe and do all the other things that YouTubers ask people to do because yeah that will help. I'll catch you on the next video. For now though, that's everything.